Hello, I'm Agara. Welcome back, or welcome if you are new. I like makeup and I have currently got literally just moisturiser on my face and tinted brows. So I thought I'd sit down, throw some stuff on my face. Most of it is stuff I've used before. There's literally a couple of bits I haven't really used yet. So I thought I'd just kind of sit down, have a chat, because my life has been pretty up in the air for the last few months, as it will be this time next year. Great stuff. But I thought I'd kind of sit down, chill out, relax, get some stuff on my face and kind of update you on what my, has been happening in my life because it, it, it's been fun. Fun is one word for it. So I'm just going to get started because it's probably easiest. Now, first things first, I have a dodgy finger. Um, I was trying to cut some bread because we've got one of those, we've got a bread machine bread maker thing, machine we set going at night and because it was getting a bit stale and I'm heading off back to my parents and then my fiance's parents um, I was trying to cut the crust a little bit thinner it had been a bit stale, I slipped and cut my finger and it, it, I don't know if it's bleeding still but I don't want to take the plaster off just in case it is at that coagulation stage of really knitting it all together and then I'll rip it off and expose it to you and go <laughs> Basically, I am Egypt. Knives are sharp, especially mine. So for primer, I'm going to be using my good old blue infallible drops because these still haven't run out and they are so close to being done. Also, most of the stuff I'm going to be using today, I am taking back with me to see the in-laws and my parents, but most of it, not all of it, because some stuff I just don't need on the daily. I mean, I'm probably wearing my glasses most of the time. But that's a whole other story, that was just because I am lazy. And if I wear my glasses, I just don't bother with makeup. Also, my eyebrows are tinted, yes. And that is purely because I am fed up of six months of not having my brows done. So I decided to finally have my brows waxed and tinted. And I am loving how easy it is to do them in the morning now. Not gonna lie. For foundation, because I still haven't finished this week's wear test because Monday I have my brows done, Tuesday I filmed, Wednesday I filmed. Thursday I didn't and I got, today is Friday and I've had Friday off work. So I could have a bit of a chill out day before we get going at stupid o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So, this is KVD um, Locket Foundation. I have it in Light 42 Warm, if you're curious. And I am literally gonna put not much on my face. Do I have a mirror today? It's a very good question. Yes, yes I do. I've been using this palette by the way. So I'm gonna stick a, that is not the right way around mug. I probably don't need anywhere near this much, but it is me. I am an Egypt. And I know it's not a perfect match to my face because my face does get quite red and all of that stuff, but to my neck, which is definitely a lot more yellow toned than my face is, it's not a bad match considering I completely eyeballed it in store. And I know I could literally get some hair clips to pin my hair back but my hair is pinnickety and annoying and all of that stuff so yeah that ain't happening today because it's actually been well behaved for a change which is not normal for it probably because I let it actually dry rather than going to work with wet hair like I normally do so for concealer I've got the elf camo concealer which again is one of those things which is running out on me but I have got so many concealers at the moment but I, I'm just going to make the thing run out because I'm trying to be a lot more eco-friendly and all of that kind of shebang. And I own a lot of makeup, so I am, the stuff that I do use every day, I am going to be trying my absolute hardest to try and get it to run out. Like, if I've got a favourite eyeshadow palette, I'm going to try and run that into the ground. Not going to like probably the bright colours that go first. But I am trying to be a bit more conscious of everything I'm doing because I do have a car but I don't drive to work, I walk to work, but every day I make about half a bin bag's worth of rubbish at work, which is not my fault, but yeah. So with the whole thing of chaos at the moment, it is mainly down to work, and that's because I am a dispenser in a pharmacy, but because I have a pretty unique role in the pharmacy, as in I make what are called dosset boxes, I make blister trays 
basically put patient is on three med different medications four times a day I put them into the four slot the relevant slots like morning midday tea and night and that kind of thing but a lot of my patients are getting transferred to the robot at the hub where I work which isn't even in my county don't get me started on this I am so annoyed about it it's not eco-conscious at all but it means that we've been losing a lot of patients that way so we're not losing losing patients but they're getting moved to be dispensed in other places so we honestly didn't know when this first started if we had jobs at the end of the week I'm gonna actually contour my face with the um, Fenty Beauty matchsticks I have it in amber if you're curious and so the stress of trying to apply for new jobs just as like Covid was really taking an impact on like the job sector and because I haven't actually been at my job I've been at my job just over a year if I was made redundant I wouldn't actually get any pay from it which is incredibly frustrating but it's all kind of settled down now we know who's because we had a lot of students coming in we know that we've got us full-time members of staff have got our jobs and if we if there are any students they'll be the first ones to go to re be redistributed among the other um, shops which are the pharmacies near us that are owned by the same company but it was stress trying to find other jobs while still working on my own qualification to be qualified and it just wasn't particularly fun and I was really stressed out trying to find a new job not knowing if I was going to have a job in a week's time or whatever and with my boyfriend being a student or well, he was my boyfriend at the time he is now my fiance um, it was kind of stressful not knowing anything and plus this week I just had my car MOT'd and I didn't know how much that was going to cost but it's all okay I just need to get a new tyre for it at some point it's just an advisory not a it's not an illegal tyre quite yet. We're sorting that. But yeah, I don't drive to work, I just have my car for like going to my parents or my other half's parents and shopping because I live on a hill and I do not fancy carrying shopping up the hill. And because he's also asthmatic, I don't want, I'm not in the bus. I haven't got the bus in ages. So for powder, I'm just going to go with the iHeart Revolution powder. Oh, what else has been going on in my life? Oh, yeah, I got engaged. If you may see that on Instagram. But um, yeah, Ross proposed up on one of my favourite tours on Dartmoor. It is called Great Miss if you are curious. It's not completely out of the way, but it's just kind of you either know about it or you don't, like a lot of things on Dartmoor, as I have found, but it's one of the places I used to go a lot with school for 10 tours training and all of that. And of course I did say yes. I have got a lovely ring and I do plan to have an entire like kind of proposal story video at some point I'm not in a rush to film it because well I've got a lot going on I work 9 till 5 I only get weekends off usually and I'm gonna be busy this week I don't worry I haven't forgotten about me saying I'd film this video but it's one of those things which is coming I just don't know when kind of thing but yeah also with the whole lockdown thing UK cases are spiking again, unis are back, so Ross is working a lot, well, well, he's back at uni. So, I honestly worked the entire pandemic so far, well, I've had a few, few days off, but from a work perspective, I've worked the entire time. So for bronzer, I'm going to go in with a sleek face form of bronzer in Obsessed, it looks like this in the packaging. And yeah, it's just kind of a thing of... I'm just busy, I'm tired a lot, not out of work or anything, I'm just, I'm sleeping better than I did during the first wave, just because stress, I knew my place was going to stay open but it was still a case of stress, we, it took us till we had a Covid scare, we had Covid cases at work for us to get proper PPE in because my company is cheap as well. So inside the bronzer looks like this. It's kind of a good colour. It's definitely a warm colour. Is there a plastic? Bit? Looks like there should be a plastic sheet on that because it's not a particularly good mirror. No, it's just fogged up a bit better. It's not perfect, but it's better. 
But now I'm very lucky because I don't actually deal directly with patients because I just work at a delivery service. So we have very limited contact with other people really. It's just the people I work directly with. And the pair I work with at the moment, they live together. So it's not as much of a worry, but they do get a bus. But, but they are good on PPE after I had a go at one of them. But that's a different story altogether and not one I want to share on the internet. But yeah, it's been a bit of an interesting one the past few weeks. Well, months really. It doesn't help that I've got the KVD um, blush I had a few weeks back, the Honeysuckle blush. Yeah, it's just been a bit of an interesting one. And for a bit of it I felt quite uninspired because it's, because I'm a really small channel, it's really difficult to try and grow subscribers. And I've only got 33 and it's been 33 for like six weeks now. I haven't gained or lost any, but it's kind of infuriating at points when I am putting all this time, effort, money really into it and it's just kind of not going anywhere. So I have had points where I thought, do I want to quit? Do I want to keep going? But I have kept going for now. So I'm going to go in, brow gel, I'm going to do fill in a bit of spots on my brow where I've got a bit of concealer or whatever on them. This is just the Dip Brow Gel by ABH. But yeah, it's been a few stressful months and I'm hoping that it's going to be uphill from here because I, I know I'm lucky with the fact that I've got a job at the moment and all of that kind of stuff, but it is tiring, worrying constantly. So this is just the um, Revolution pencil, micro brow pencil in brun brunette, brown brunette, yeah. And yeah, it's been interesting, especially when I have social anxiety at the best of times and honestly the entire COVID thing of two meters distance is a massive comfort to me because I'm not sure how many of you paid attention to my get to know me video but I do have very very mild autism so I like to have my own space I like to have a routine I like to know what's going on with everything and oh COVID the start of it is absolutely terrifying and when I have an anxiety spiral, because I wouldn't say it's an attack, it's more of a spiral, I just kind of spiral out of control. I do get kind of a tight uh, chest. It's not quite hyperventilating, but it is definitely a tight chest. And that is scary, but then when I kind of calm down, get my logical side out again, it's all right. But it has been a bit scary sometimes. I don't, haven't actually had a proper, had one proper meltdown in the entire pandemic, so. I know a lot of people have it a lot worse, I know a lot of people are struggling to find work or keep their jobs and stuff and I do appreciate that, I do appreciate how hard it is for some people but you can't say you're not having a tough time if you're having a tough time but other people have got it worse, it's still a tough time for everybody. So I'm going to go in with the Maddie Ziegler, the Ziegler palette, it looks like this, it's by Morphe, it's the Imagination palette and it looks like this inside and as you may have guessed I have already done a look with kind of these colours. So I thought I'd do a kind of more neutrally brown, soft glam kind of look, mainly because I'm wearing a red t-shirt and I don't think pink really goes with dark red and it is also autumn so. I do also need to tone it down sometimes and I do tone it down rarely. So, as I said to my boss who asked when I turned up with green, yellow and um, purpley pinky colours on my eyelids, it takes me 10 minutes to do that. It takes me longer to do something with this. So I'm going to first go in with uh, Maddie Girl, which is this kind of pinky neutrally colour here. I'm going to add a little bit of concealer to my lids in a minute, literally just whatever is still on my sponge. Just to give it a bit of a tacky base, and I'm going to go in with that Maddie Girl colour. Which isn't actually that different from my natural skin colour. And I'm going to go in with N3, which is this colour right here. Now what I, why I bought this palette, because I don't know anything about Maddie Ziegler. Ziegler. Somebody correct me on my pronunciation. Um, is that it is a very everyday palette with some pops of colour really thrown in there that you can still create a look out of and honestly that is what I want in the palette 
and I have waited an absolute age to get hold of this because it was on Boots. And then just as my birthday rolled around it went out of stock. And then it didn't come back into stock until literally a week ago it came back in stock and so I used up all my Boots points to get this because I am a Boots points hoarder because you can't use them as part of a purchase you've got to use them as the entire purchase which is really bloody annoying Boots. So I need a bit of Latte which is this one here, it's very similar to M3, it's got a bit of a different undertone so. So yeah, what else is going on in my life? Um, I'm back to helping out at brownies. We're doing it all on Zoom because, you know, I come, my pack is enormous. Like, there are 30 odd of them. And of course not all of them want to do it on Zoom, but some would prefer to if we were back in person. As would we all, but we can't. So we're doing it on Zoom for now. It isn't as interactive, but it means that we can still do the meetings which we hadn't for the last six months and I know that if we don't then we're really going to struggle to get the numbers back up when it opens up again because a lot of kids will have just got used to the whole thing of not doing anything after school so I'm going to get a flat brush a second so yeah girl guiding has become very different since we started the zoom thing which is weird in a way because I've been helping at brownies since I was 10 and I started going to brown. My first week of brownies was when I was literally three weeks old. And yeah, so guiding hasn't, it's, it's changed, but it hasn't changed that much in the UK until now. Like we've got new um, programs and stuff, but this is the biggest change we faced long run to be fair even when I change packs because my mum lives in Devon I live in East Sussex um, I'm gonna go with Kenny which is this orangey colour here just to kind of give it a bit more warmth because we're in the autumn now let's play with some colour so yeah it's been a bit of a weird six months Especially the pandemic and PPE and all that kind of stuff. It's like, yeah, I know the country is in a bit of a shit spot right now, but I think a lot of countries are right now, and all we can do is hope for the best right now. Hope for the best and expect the worst, and hopefully we'll get through it. Because I had expected a lot more cases in Brighton. When uni started, especially as I honestly expected us to be in lockdown for two weeks well me and my boyfriend fiance to be in lockdown for two weeks once at uni started up because inevitably you're going to come across somebody with covid but we haven't yet there is still a chance we're going to but for now we're okay i mean if we are they expect me to do a lot of filming if i am okay we don't have symptoms or anything but if it does happen, keep an eye, keep me, keep an eye on my Twitter because I'll probably be ranting on there. This is what it's looking like with just mats on, and I really like it. That Kenny colour is such a nice warm colour, but with the others, it's not kind of an in-your-face orange, which I find some oranges are. So I'm going to go in with Godfather, which is this kind of coppery orangey colour below the hot pink and I'm just going to use that on my finger because I find shimmers generally work a lot better on your finger I mean I would know I am the person who spends most of the time with a shiny eyelid at least I've got to a point at work where nobody asks if I'm feeling okay if I don't show up with makeup on because at least one day a week I do it which is how you do it realistically if you just don't fancy wearing makeup every day Get them used to seeing you on both sides of the coin, then they're not going to be shocked when you show up looking like shit and feeling like shit. I'm also going to go with this, this pinky silvery colour called Godmum. That's such a pretty colour. I'm going to put that more towards my inner corner just to really brighten that up. Oh, that works so well. So I like having bright inner corners because most of the time I just look tired and I'm not wearing makeup. I mean, it's because I am tired, but. 
I like there to be a contrast between the two. So this is what it's looking like is just this, so I'm liking it. It's simple, it's everyday, kind of soft glam kind of look. A bit autumnal in there. And I actually remember to put my camera back in focus. So I'm gonna stick some mascara on. I'm gonna use a combination of the three I normally use. So Collection, Lash Surge, Huda Legit Lashes and Revolution, the Mascara Revolution. And I'll be back momentarily. Lashes are done. Um, they're not the most impressive today, but I like them. They, you can actually see them unlike my real lashes. So for highlighter, I've dug out my Jeffree Star Platinum. For, I, for highlighter, I've dug out my Jeffree Star Platinum Ice Highlighter. It looks like this and it looks like this inside. Now, I was loving this up until the dude himself was a bit of a twat for whatever reason I can't remember. At the moment, I'm not a big fan of him because he is selling a palette called Orgy and his audience is not necessarily the right age group for that. So I'm going to take a bit of Ice Cold and Pink Chill, which is this colour here and this one right in the corner. And these are just stunning highlighters. But I really struggle with this brand because I do like this stuff. I just don't like the guy attached to the name. I mean, these highlighters, I mean, they're just stunning. Then for lipstick, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. And this is the finished look, and that lipstick is nice and hydrating. I think it looks quite nice, I'm not sure if the lipstick and the eyeshadow go together, but I don't care right now, I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the day. I love the highlight. And if you're curious about what I use to set it, I generally use the XX Hydra Mist setting spray. It's a nice mister, it's not particularly violent. I just find the centre of my face can get really dry sometimes. And yes, this is what it's looking like. I am quite enjoying it. And yes. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Let me know if you want any, let me know your video re requests and anything you would like me to test down in the comments. And I'll see you next time for another lovely video.